Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, I will give you introduction to dashboard. So firstly guys, we need to log into the dashboard. We, for that, we will go to the browser and we will type in the URL, localhost, then a forward slash. Then you need to type the name of the folder. It's WP English. And then a forward slash, then you need to type WP hyphen ADMIN, means WP admin, and you need to hit the enter button. Then you need to enter the username password here, admin and password. Now you can see this is the dashboard of WordPress from which we can access the website. So firstly guys, uh, in this video I will, give, uh, I will give you introduction to this dashboard. So guys, in the right side, uh, firstly we will start from here. So in the right side you can see how the admin, this is the uh, username which is it's showing and uh, after this you can see this added my profile and logout from this uh, means you can logo, uh, log out from this dashboard by using this logout link and if you want to edit your profile like if you want to change your password you need to click on this so I'll click on it edit profile so you can change color scheme but you can't change uh, username uh, you can enter user your first name last name and you can also change the uh, display name like if I will enter my name Rishabh Kapoor okay then means how display uh, name as publicly how you want to show this name as like uh, if I'll create a new post then it will display like created by admin if I'll choose uh, Rishabh then it will display Rishabh means this post is created by Rishabh so about post I will cover you in uh, uh, I will cover in upcoming videos so next you can change uh, your contact info like you can change email address and and the bottom you can change password from here okay and then you need to click on this update profile button now guys we know we will move on the next step guys you can see uh, this option uh, I will click on this screen options first you can see these are the screen options which are displaying on the screen. So first, um, I will untick this right now. Then it will hide uh, right now. If I again click it now, you can see right now. Means two posts has been created um, because I have uh, created one more post for uh, for just check that whether this is working properly or not. Now one comment, one post is approved. No post is pending. No post is oh uh, sorry, uh, no. Uh, comment is marked as spam, spam and one page is created which is boiled default I have created five categories and I have also created five tags means it is showing the uh, information that how many pages you have created how many categories of posts you have been created you have created and how many tags you have applied means how many tags you have created let's scroll a little bit down you can see recent comments means if anybody will uh, write any comment on our post then it will display here if you want to hide it from here then you will you need to untick this uh, uncheck this box then it will hide recent comments means if you want to hide anything from this page you can uncheck that and you can also adjust the columns here if I'll choose one then it will uh, show it like this if I choose two then it will show two columns if I choose three then it will show three columns and if I'll choose four then it will choose uh, it then it will show four columns so I'll choose four two which is point four so I can click on it okay now here uh, in the next uh, in the uh, left side you can see this post means with which you can create post edit post you can apply category to post you can apply text to post means anything if you want to work with post you will you can use this post link so which will we will cover in upcoming videos I'm just demonstrating this dashboard so don't be confused we will cover all this in uh, deeply in upcoming videos the next one is media means if you want to work with means if you want to upload any video any audio or any image then you can use this media link to upload or upload anything means upload anything like video or your image the next one is pages if you want to create pages like uh, most in the web uh, most of the websites have pages like home about us contact us services we can create from here so next one is comments means if anybody if anybody will comment on our any 
topic or any post we can say then it will display the list of the comments here the next one is appearance in appearance firstly you will see themes if you want to change the theme of your WordPress then you you can use these themes if you want to customize your theme then you can use this customized link the next one is widget guys about widget and plugins I will cover in upcoming videos because if I'll explain it right now then it will be a little bit confused uh, confusing for you because you will start uh, thinking that why should I use this uh, what and what is the use of this widget and plugin so it's better it is very important for uh, WordPress so it's better we will explain it later when means when we will do it practically then I will explain it the next one is menus means if you want to add menu to your uh, WordPress template like home a bar us, or you want to create drop down menu then you can manage it from menus the next one is header guys this header you will not find in all the themes it depends upon the theme which you on which you are working so you can change the header from this header link the sec and then the last one is editor means if you want to edit some CSS or some PHP file in WordPress then you can use this editor link okay the next one is plugins guys I have already tell you, told you that about widgets and plugins I will cover in upcoming videos because if I'll explain it right now then it will little bit confusing because it will uh, make you confuse that what is the main use of uh, widget and plugins and I, again I'm telling you this is very important of for part of WordPress widgets and plugins which make WordPress website better the next one is users means if you want to create new users like if you want to create subscribers and you want to apply dif uh, give different different roles to it like subscribers uh, you want to create one more admin you want to create a publisher so you can use it from uh, use this users link the next one is tools means if you want to import or export some file for just for an example we can take an example of XML file if you want to import or export XML file then you can use this tools but uh, tools link the next last one is setting means if you want to set anything in WordPress you can use this settings first one is journal which uh, with which uh, you can set the site title tagline and you can also uh, change the site URL which uh, we will cover this in brief uh, brief in upcoming videos the next one is writing and the next one is reading mm, uh, in the reading if you want to make your front page a static page or a blog page you can set it from here so we will also cover this in upcoming videos because it will be a little bit confusing if I'll uh, uh, discuss uh, if I'll uh, give you inter uh, tell you about this right now so next one is uh, discussion and the, uh, the and then it's media if you want to change the uh, uh, thumbnail size or any media size you can, you can use it from and the last one is permalink means if you want to change the permalinks of a website means URL of a website then you can use this permalinks ok guys so this was the introduction to dashboard guys I wanna tell you here are many ways to do a single thing just for example click on this dashboard you can create a new post from here hover your mouse over and click on this no, uh, post write your first blog post you can also do it from here and the third one way is you can also click on hover your mouse over this post and you can click on this add new so means here are many ways to do a single thing so it depends upon you which way you want to choose and, the, and in the last guys I will show you how can you open your main page of the WordPress you when you will hover your mouse over this title and you will see a link of visit sites so you need to right click on it or you can click on it open link in your tab then it will take you to the main page of the WordPress website here's two ways the second way is you need to type the log host and then you need to type the name of the folder then it will take you to the main page of the WordPress your WordPress website and I have already created a post then you you don't need to pay attention to it uh, you will see this post on your screen it's hello world which is created by default when you will install the WordPress so guys this was uh, so guys this was introduction to WordPress dashboard so in the next video we will talk about posts because uh, posts are mostly uh, used in blogs so firstly we will be being begin with post then media pages comments means we will move step by step so guys uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below 
So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.